This video is brought to you by DistroKid, the easiest and fastest way to get your music on all the major platforms. This year, DistroKid introduced a feature called the Wheel of Playlist. If you head to the Goodies tab and click Get Heard Now, you will find the Wheel of Playlist, where you can spin the wheel three times. Your last spin will determine what position in their Spotify playlist your track has been automatically added to. This is a great way to get your music out there, and their playlist continues to grow. If you're thinking of signing up for DistroKid, don't forget to use the code below and save 7% off your first year. There's a certain module combination that unlocks the modular gates of heaven. And that, my friends, is Rings into Clouds by Mutable Instruments. By many, it is considered the foundation of any ambient modular rig. At your choice of potted plant, and your transformation into full-on hipster Eurorack nerd is near completion. So why is it that these two modules work so great together? And how can patching Rings into Clouds transfer you to a different dimension, that in which all negative vibes from internet trolls against such a combination simply vanish? First, let's start with Rings. Rings is a physical modeling synthesizer, aka a koto or shamisen in Eurorack form. To me, Rings is the foundation of my Eurorack system. Kyoto, as I like to call her, is my crazy Asian plucking machine. At first, it's hard to imagine that these sounds could get any more beautiful. After all, what more could you want than a machine that recreates oriental sounds in only 14 HP? This module is indeed a dream come true. If you haven't watched my video about why everyone loves mutable instrument rings, you should probably go check it out after this. Just saying. Now imagine those beautiful string-like vibrations traveling through a device that can take those sounds and create textures from them in real time. And that, my friends, is the magic of clouds. At first, clouds can be a bit intimidating. It's one of those modules that you must tweak with caution if you want to preserve your hearing. It's easy for this module to feedback with certain knob positions. So my recommendation for those new to this module would be to start with everything at 12 o'clock and slowly move each knob both directions in small increments until you learn what's a no-no. Clouds has been discontinued for some time now, and getting your hands on the original is becoming harder and harder. But luckily for us, Mutable Instruments has come out with a Clouds 2.0, aka Beats. Now, I don't have Beats, so I can't comment on the improvements, but from their website, it seems to be a well-worthy upgrade, so I might have to look into it. I do wish they would have kept the original pink and aqua knobs, but hey, I'm glad to see this module getting the attention it deserves. And with Beats, those looking for a smaller clouds alternative, but not wanting to sacrifice the comfort and usability of full-size modules, can finally add this little gem to the rack. So sit back, grab some tea, and let's get lost in the bleeps and blobs.
Thank you. 